Today we're going to do an on-site comparison of the two types of ram pumps that uh, here in America we were most exposed to. One of them is called the linear ram pump. And the reason it's called linear is because your your even though your waste valve is vertical when this thing's installed, you have a horizontal check valve. In other words, water comes in on this side, goes out over here, pretty much in a straight line, linear or horizontal. The second type of ram pump we're going to talk about today is, I guess you could consider it a vertical ram pump. Uh, water will come into it at the same position up here as water flows through the drive pipe into the system on either of these that's coming in here. We have an on off valve. The linear happens to have a ball valve separate from the uh, union. What I put on this one is uh, a true union ball valve. In other words, this is all in one. Th this is your own off as well as you can unscrew it from either end to disassemble this thing. But anyhow, back to the basics. Water is going to be flowing this way from the drive pipe, comes into the system, and unlike the linear pump where your waste valve is in the middle, water has to flow all the way through the pipe to get out. So I have this waste valve on the end uh, replicating the waste valve you see in the middle over here. In other words, it, it's just got a swing door in it and uh, this arrow tells you which way uh, the, the door will swing uh, when it's in the open position. You can see the arrow is pointing down. That means when this thing's just sitting still, the flap is pointing down. On the other side here next to it, I have the identical check valve just installed upside down where the arrow is pointing up. In other words, when that door is open, the flap will be up towards the top. Okay, it's a real simple design. Uh, on both of these, it's going to require some sort of back pressure. So I've got two types of pressure tanks. I got one with tire and one with foam, and uh, we will be testing both of these on each of these pumps. Hopefully, round two will go better in that first attempt. I emptied the barrel, uh, so the barrel was empty, the drive pipe was empty of water, and I changed the fitting on the front of this linear pump. Made it a little less complicated, just used PVC there. And uh, we'll make sure we have it in the vertical position. And once the uh, water starts overflowing my, my test tank, I'll open up this front valve get water started through here and we'll see if we can get it started this time. I want to mention that we're using the pressure tank that's filled with foam. Uh, that's that stuff like you'd get on a pool noodle. I just cut off a section of it. I'll be using this same pressure tank on the other pump too. All right, here we go. Open her up. We have water flowing. Make sure we get all the air out. Okay, let's close up everything. Now this is one of the problems I've had with these things in the past. Uh, this is my third year messing with ram pumps. And I notoriously had problems with the linear style getting it started and once it got going you know it worked pretty good so that was not the easiest start in the world we're going to give it a few minutes for this tank to fully pressurize and then i'll open up the release valve and see if we can get some water coming out of the blue hose 
Well, I've had the uh, the release valve wide open for a couple of minutes now, and the pump seems to be holding its own. And I do see water streaming out of that hose, so we're going to climb the ladder with a with a cup and a clock. We're going to start the countdown and see how much water, how much time it takes to get 32 ounces of water. Well, I'm up in the sky. I just got my clock attached to the tree. And just I'm about ready to start filling this thing up with water, my pump quit. <laughs> okay. Go down there and see if we can get it going again. This is the linear style ram pump. When that second hand gets on the three, we're going to start the test. Ready, go. It's 10 seconds. 15 seconds. Coming out pretty good here. There's 30 seconds right there, and the cup is not nearly full. And this is with a three-quarter inch linear pump. That's 45 seconds. Getting close. 50 seconds, we'll call it. We're continuing our test with this three-quarter inch linear ram pump. Uh, that 50 second for 32 ounce test we just finished was with a uh, pressure tank that had a foam noodle in it. We're going to keep everything the same except I've replaced that pressure tank with the one that's got a bicycle inner tube in it. We'll see if that makes any kind of difference. We're still using that same three quarter inch linear ram pump. The only difference on this particular section of the test is I've replaced the uh, pressure tank with one that has a bicycle inner tube in it as opposed to the pool noodle. Okay, this time when the second hand gets on the nine, we'll start filling her up. Here we go. Five seconds. 10 seconds. Uh, that, the one with the noodle took 20 seconds to, uh, excuse me, took 50 seconds to fill up a 32 ounce cup. Alright. We're coming up here on almost to 30 seconds, folks. That's 30. Thirty-five. Forty. Forty-five. And it was about 47 seconds. So this was about three seconds. About three seconds faster. Let's hook up the, line, uh, the vertical pump, see what we get. Okay, the barrel's almost full again. Got the same exact situation, 20 foot dry pipe. The big difference is that this one has the waste valve on the very end of the system. And instead of a spring type check valve, I've got an identical check valve to the waste valve, just turned upside down. And then between the check valve and the pressure tank, I have my outlet. All right, let's see if we can get this baby cranked up. Usually this style starts pretty quick. Right away, first push. I'm not surprised. That has been my experience with this style of pump. I don't know what my problem is with a linear pump. Maybe I'm using the wrong finger. What do you think? Okay, we got the foam noodle in this pressure tank. Let's see if we can get her opened up a little bit.
already getting, I mean, I just started, and I'm already getting water coming out of that, that hose. I know I sound biased. I could have just made a video and said this is my favorite style. But if you're interested in some details or see what kind of problems I have, keep watching to the end. Let's open this up a little bit more. Let's give you an idea how to test your pump in the backyard. If you think it's just as simple as connecting the, the fittings and turning on the water, uh, wrong. You're going to have to play with it. Better you do it in your yard than wait till you're down there with water moccasins and stickers and snapping turtles. Do it up in the yard till you know what you're going to put down there. Doesn't, I can't tell just by looking at it, you know, if this has more water coming out of it or not. But we're going to get started here when that thing gets on the six. Ready, go. The linear pump took 50 seconds for the foam, 47 seconds for the, for the inner tube. Here we go, that's 15 seconds so far with the vertical pump, with the, the foam pressure tank. That's 30. One, two, three, four. 34 seconds. 34 seconds to get 32 ounces. Right, that's the best so far. Let's go put an inner tube on that baby, see what happens. Okay, as usual, I got all my valves shut off on the delivery side, and let's see if we can get it started. Starts right up. Give it a few minutes to build up some pressure in the tank. Now, I'm using this quadruple outlet attachment on my my pump that's because that was the only thing I could find if you have just a simple hose splitter you know the kind I'm talking about you get them at any any uh, discount store just uh, make sure that this nipple coming out of your final T the outlet instead of using national pipe threads on the outside make sure it goes from national pipe thread to a garden hose thread NPT to GHT. I've made a longer video I might post that explains the difference between garden hose thread and just regular pipe thread. And uh, any clerk at one of those stores will be able to tell you. Okay, let's start opening it up and see what we do here. Slow as we go. Don't want to lose too much pressure too soon. I'm already getting some water out. This pump is very responsive. Open it up a little bit more. Let's go for gold again. All the way open. Still maintaining its cadence. Now I know you'll watch some videos that say you need at least a second or a fraction over a second between cycles but I'm using a real short drive pipe here only 20 feet if I had a longer drive pipe I'm sure this this thing would cycle faster but every time that valve closes it sends a shock wave up that pipe and uh, that's what's making it cycle let's climb that ladder when it gets on the three we'll start the countdown okay. This is the three-quarter inch vertical round pump with a bicycle inner tube in the pressure tank. Okay, that's 15 seconds. It's coming up fast. That's 25 seconds, 26, 27 seconds. She's full. 27 seconds to get 32 ounces. Vertical ramp pump with a bicycle inner tube. All right, let me get down. We'll close this out. Gotta take my kitchen clock down too.